most important thing that I learned when spinning the ball on both sides of the rim is it starts from practice. What I used to do when I was younger is I used to see all the angles on the backboard, and if you look around, there's so many angles that'll, that you put the proper spin and it'll go in, and you have to practice that. And literally just stand here and just spin it on both sides. And those are the variety of finishes. But most importantly, when a guy's behind you and he's on your hip, instead of extending with your right hand, you keep him on your hip, create space, and shoot it with your left hand. And you got to do it on both sides. And that comes with a lot of practice and practicing different finishes. That comes with every finish in the game. I'm talking about floaters with your left hand, high arcing shots with your left hand, right hand floaters, everything. You never want to be predictable. You always want to have a variety of finishes so nobody can guess what you're going to do. When I was younger, I would just imagine anybody was in front of me and I would just try as many moves as possible. So I would start out with the basics and that would just be a simple crossover, but it was hard and fast and it would be game speed. So if the defender, you game speed, you're going to go to the basket, you're going to pull up and that's how you create combinations. And I created combinations with the drills I did. So I would be by myself and then I would do crossover behind the back and then behind the back and then go to a pull up. And I would just work on consistent combinations. You always want to have second and third and fourth and fifth and sixth moves where the defender just gets tired and he doesn't want to guard you anymore. That's how I practiced. So I would have in and out between the legs to a behind the back to a spin to a pull up. I mean, not many defenders can guard that. And it's fast and game speed. And that's how I would practice consistently practice that move over and over again until you feel like every time you do that move, you're going to make the shot. And that's what it's about. Repetition and consistency. When I'm splitting the pick and roll, I have a variety of options. The first option is to stop and pop. So I'm coming off right here, one hard dribble. The defender's helpless right here, and there's space in between him and me in the basket. And that's the first option. The second option is I'm coming off, I split the pick and roll. He steps up again. There's the Euro step. You step in between the defender's legs and you create space by using your first leg, your pivot foot, and then stepping around him and then reversing it. And the third option is the spin move. It's a dangerous move. I mean, it just depends on how the defender plays you. So if I have it in my left hand and he's shading me this way, then use the spin move and it's a quick one. After you spin off him, you always want to shield him with your off hand. So I spin off him and keep him over here. That way, if he comes over your body, that's a foul, and it's an and one automatic basket. The most important thing is your balance and your footwork.